What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, I want to talk about DEC because I think that it's important for us to consider the fact that the DEC supply as it currently stands is not the true DEC supply in terms of what we need to eat through. Now, don't get me wrong. On an absolute level, I've been talking about the fact that I think we're going to hit some, uh, you know, a massive supply constriction, whether it is rebellion or land or both that comes out between now and the end of the year. And we should see a good amount of that get burned, get locked in the Dow or get staked on land. Right. So you can see here that we have less than 4.6 billion. And again, there's another 220 something plus million DEC that's already locked up in the Dow. But we need to work through that in terms of, uh, you know, getting it, getting it off the books, getting it uh, just off the marketplace. Now you can see the supply, I'm sorry, the price of DEC has already started to reflect the sentiment regarding the upcoming rebellion presale, which is less than a week from the day that I'm recording this video. So that is very exciting. Obviously we're up like, you know, 20 plus percent on DEC just by itself, or maybe 16 to 20% or so uh, from where we were at the recent uh, lows, we'll call it. And obviously there's still quite a bit, uh, we have to go about another 11 and a half percent we're still 11 and a half percent below peg i should say uh the, the the gain from that is still relatively high to go from 88 cents back up to the dollar peg but my whole point with all of this is to keep in mind that let's say land is not going to come for a little while right we don't know the the date for that the team hasn't really given one and right now it just seems like it's kind of not not on hold but there's just no you know it's a the release is kind of indefinite in terms of when it'll actually happen so all we can look at is the rebellion supply or the rebellion demand and looking at the DEC supply through that lens you can look at this and say okay well there's four point you know five uh, four point six billion DEC that's out there in circulation I think we've gone through and said well if there is uh you know x amount in the liquidity pools if there's x amount in uh the the terror block bridges the team is holding on to a decent amount then you know it's it's down to anywhere between like two and a half billion right but just for the purposes of this video i'm going to make it super simple let's say there's two billion liquid that we need to eat through and the reason i picked two billion is because the pre-sale for Rebellion is 500,000 packs, and at 4,000 DEC a piece, that comes out to 2 billion DEC. But here's the important thing. Of that 2 billion DEC, only 1 billion is going to get locked up in the Dow. The other goes to the team, and now the team has traditionally held on to DEC to help it, help it hold its peg over time, but we know that the team has finances, expenses, all these different things that it needs to take care of, and I wouldn't be surprised if they start to sell that relatively quickly. Now, hopefully they're only going to be selling it at peg because it would actually hurt the team's numbers to sell it below peg. So obviously the goal is for us to get to a point in which, you know, we're, we're maintaining that, uh, that kind of demand. But this is what I'm talking about, where if there's only 500,000 packs in the presale, and Rebellion, you know, is going to eat up 2 billion of those, keep in mind that there will be 1 billion DEC worth of sell pressure that comes from the team. Now, that may not come all at one time. In fact, it may come throughout the pre-sale, right? Because people will be buying, they'll be selling. But, we, you know, we're really just not sure what the appetite is. This is all, of course, assuming that there is an appetite to sell out the pre-sale, right? 500,000 packs. I don't think anybody uh, is is really thinking that way, at least not from a conservative mind uh, standpoint. At least not. I, I'm not. Um, obviously, it'd be great if, the, if we did that. I think that would that would be freaking awesome for the team, for the community, and for the game economy. But I'm just looking at those numbers to make it easier. Even if we were in a bullish scenario to expect that, there would be another 1 billion DEC that would be cycled back out into the market from the team. And that would probably mostly be sell pressure coming in from the team as they try to lock in the, you know, the revenue that they earned and then go and pay their server costs, salaries, and things like that. So we're going to be in this cycle where it's like, all right, we lock up X amount of DEC. The team sells half of it. So now all of a sudden, post pre-sale, we still have a 1 billion DEC uh, excess amount, right? Where we would have to go in and then spend, it was another 250,000 packs at the general sale, eat up the DEC for that, right? Of which point 500 million goes to the Dow, 
another 500 million goes to the team and the team sells that to recirculate it out into the ecosystem. So we're talking several, you know, 100,000 packs, probably like not until we get to like a million packs until we actually eat through all the excess DEC in the marketplace. Now, let's hope land comes in before the general sale. Let's hope, uh, you know, maybe maybe there's some other burns or things like that, or just, you know, obviously the doubt, not the doubt, but uh, the fees that get burned. So just market activity can help to burn some over time. But what I'm trying to say is don't expect the pre-sale to go absolutely crazy in terms of getting the flywheel activated. And I'm hopeful that it will in some ways. And it may even be successful in doing in activating the flywheel. But I would say that would be somewhat premature because there's still a ton of DEC that's out there. Now, you might have people over that time that still keep on accumulating for land. And therefore, you can kind of count those as black holes, which will be part of you know the DEC that will be staked on land. But we're not even counting that right now. I'm just saying if you were to look at this from a purely rebellion standpoint, we have not just 2 billion DEC, but... If you go through that first round, it'll be 3 billion DEC, right? We're going to add another billion of DEC. Then we add another 500 million. Then we add another 250,000, right? And there's kind of like a marginal returns at that point. But that still gets us close to like 4 billion DEC once again, which is kind of where we're at right now. Again, a lot of that is recycled or like double the amount of that is recycled. But we would need to actually eat through a significant amount of that. When you come and think about how much that is from a pack perspective, that's close to about a million packs. So up until we get to a million packs, that is the only way in which we will actually lock 4 billion DEC, or really not 4 billion DEC, but the 2 billion DEC that we need to lock up in the DAO. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys, where it's just like, it'll be this cycle where the team will, will earn his revenue, sell it, earn his revenue, sell it, earn it, and sell it, uh, and, and then sell it. But my point is, once we get past that, assuming no land, is when we get to the exciting part where people will actually need to start burning SPS on a uh, you know significant and regular basis in order to get that DEC because the rest of it will be locked up in the DAO. So you know I have you know I have conservative but hopefully high hopes for the the presale, but I really don't think it's going to be until the general sale or land that we get that flywheel activation in a consistent way. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That's all I have for you guys in this video. I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.